afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rosanna Moore, and I think I am the final concert of today. I am coming to you live from the west coast of the USA. So it's actually 9 a.m. in the morning with me right now. So I have my trusty cup of tea on hand, and I'm looking forward to playing some wonderful music for this Pilgrim uh, virtual open day this year. I've got to say that's been the one perk of having all this technology at the moment is that we can collaborate from all over the world. I'm going to start off with a piece of Scarlatti, and this is his Sonata K466.
Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you just joining, uh, that was Scarlatti's Sonata K466 in F minor, a piece that was originally written for keyboard, and I did my own transcription of this for my senior recital for my undergrad, which is nearly 10 years ago at this point, and it's a piece that I started to bring back uh, during the quarantine. As with a lot of these pieces, they're pieces I'd played before whilst I was in school, and it gave me the time to go back and revisit some of these wonderful, wonderful pieces of music. So for the rest of my recital, I am actually going to play a mixture of American and British music to represent the fact that I'm obviously I'm from the UK and have spent the last eight years in America. The first, um, first portion of that was in upstate New York whilst I was doing my master's and doctorate at the Eastman School of Music. And obviously I've just started a new chapter on the other side of the country uh, as I just started as the Hart Professor at the University of Oregon. So, moving on, I'll stop wittering and I will actually play some music. The next piece I'm going to play for you all is a work called Crossing Waves by Andy Scott. Andy Scott is a saxophone player and a composer from the UK. And uh, his wonderful wife is also a harpist, so you always know that it's going to be a good piece of music when a composer's significant other actually plays the instrument. This piece was commissioned by Keziah Thomas and was written uh, to honour Ros Savage, who was a woman who crossed the Atlantic um, by boat on her own. And which is, I'm sure you can... <laughs> All imagine is an incredible feat. The piece is in three sections, the first of which is very tumultuous and represents um, the apprehension of being at sea on your own. The middle section is solitude and quietness, where you're sort of sat out on the deck um, during peaceful time of traveling. And then the final section is the joy of coming home. So without further ado, and hopefully my cats in the corner are not going to run around throughout all of this. This is the joy of live performances right now as you get to see everyone's pets. Um, but I hope you enjoy this and I'll check back in with you all after this.
favourite thing to say during every concert that I do, onto something completely different. As you may have read in my biography, um, I do uh, talk about being a harpist, but I am also an actor and I do uh, a lot of voiceover work. Recently, during my doctorate, this turned into a field of study where I started commissioning theatrical pieces to play with the harp. And this is one of my favourite of those pieces, which also came about because of the wonderful Fran Barsby. Uh, a few years ago, I first started working with the Future Blend Project uh, and becoming one of the advisor harpists for that. And the first year I played, I was paired up with the incredible composer and harpist Amy Robertson. And uh, her piece that she wrote for that ended up being one of the winners that year, which is really awesome. It's a wonderful piece. A few weeks after that, I got a message from Amy saying, Hi, you do theatre, right? Do you want to do a fun verbatim theatre piece, um, which is about a teenager getting dumped on Valentine's Day, and you're stuck next to them on the bus, and you've got another ten stops before you can get off. So this piece uh, is described by my roommate as being called Trapped on a London Bus. The real name for it is actually Overheard on a London Bus, but it is um, quite an entertaining piece to play, and I get to put on the most obnoxious of uh, EastEnders Cockney accents for this. So without further ado, this is Overheard on a London Bus by the incredible and wonderful Amy Brown. I always 
sake of done with dance. What's the point? Well, that time it busted, and now I don't have anyone. He's probably off with someone else already. Darky swore to me there wasn't anyone involved, but when I think about it, was a new girl start at school. Every other word out of his mouth speaks.
Finally, we are at the final tune that I'm going to play for you all this morning. Again, thank you all so much for tuning in, and a huge thank you to both Pilgrim Harps and to the amazing and wonderful Fran Barsby for um, asking me to be part of this incredible day. Hi, Mooney. Apparently, my cat's coming to say hi as well. <laughs> um, this is such an honor and pleasure to be able to play for you all, and I hope we get to travel and see each other in not the uh, in not too far of the distant future. So the final piece I'm going to play is a work that was written for my teacher in the UK, Erin Jones, who I'm sure a lot of you in the UK know she's incredible. And it was written by a colleague of mine who I studied at Royal Northern with, Esther Swift. Now this piece has been just one of my favorite pieces in my roster to play at the moment and during the beginning of the pandemic brought a particular amount of solace and calm um, to what was quite frightening i think for everyone around the world this work is called time spinner and was written in memory of the incredible scottish harpist and teacher and just wonderful human being Helen this piece is dedicated to her and to basically anyone who is going through any sort of strife at the moment. Again, this is in three sections. The first section is supposed to represent Helen's soul. The middle movement is a really goofy little folk dance and represents her um, smile and the final section. 
Now inside the publication, The Time Spinner, there is a wonderful quote of Helen's, which is, choose to shine. It's something that she said to friends, to students, to colleagues, and I just think it's such a wonderful sentiment for everyone to take with them. So without further ado, this is the final piece in my set.
end, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of my recital today. I think you still have a couple more things going on, a review of things that have happened in years past um, with Pilgrim Heart Day, and I really hope that next year that we can all meet and perform in person. I really hope that you've enjoyed everyone who's performed today. You've had some really incredible harpists. I'm so honoured to be on that list today. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Have a great day.